Okay, so Grid has been out now for uh, well over a week. Uh, in fact, I think probably close on two weeks now. Um, and I've spent a reasonable amount of time with it over the last few weeks. Um, and I thought I'd really just give a not proper review, more just uh, my thoughts on what it's like since that time's passed. Um, because it is one, I must confess, it's got me in a little bit of a quandary grid. Um, it's a great looking game. The damage model is really good. I actually really like the ar arcade handling. It is an arcade title. Grid has always been that. It's designed to give you the spirit of motorsport rather than you know, a, a true simulation. Um, it's got a reasonable car list on it, but... It just feels so light on content, it it really is very hard to get drawn into it. And there are some issues that, just at the present moment, really are a bit confusing, in all honesty. Um, so, the track list, I think, is the main thing that everybody knows about. The track list is incredibly light, even when you throw the variations in on the tracks. It is incredibly light. I mean, don't get me wrong, what's in there is pretty good. I must say, personally, I'm still not a big fan of using uh, reverse layouts of real-world tracks. Uh, reverse Silverstone and reverse Brands Hat, which I can't get past it. But it's just, it seems wrong to me, um, and I can't get past that. Other people's mileage may vary on that one. Um, and the fantasy tracks are good and it's nice to have a togu type track in there it's been a long time since we've had a title um, that's had something like that built into it um, and, and it's good fun it really is good fun as I say the car mix is pretty good uh, the team element of it your teammate well, may as well not exist um, and I think really here I'm starting to get into the stuff that annoys me more than anything else because the track listing we know is going to be expanded on post um launch well, we're into post launch now and we don't know what's going to be coming we know the tracks are supposed to be free and the season passes will pay for more vehicles and more events which will address perhaps one of the points but uh, we don't know what's coming and that's the thing so that track list is really light and then you've just got light content built around what is an enjoyable enough arcade driving model um but then everything about it just seems empty you know you've got a career mode that's got a reasonable number of events in it but almost every race is tiny you know that two three maybe four laps if it's a really short course um that's it's just mind-bogglingly small in that regard it's pretty much all single events or at most two or three events there's very little to get your teeth into um it, it kind of starts off with some semblance of order you know you've got the touring cars you've got the stock cars uh, etc and then it gets down towards the bottom it's almost like they ran out of ideas you've got the fernando alonso challenge which is just well, let's shove a load of stuff together um that we can vaguely relate to alonso and then you've got the invitational stuff which is just kind of like smacks of we couldn't be asked to put any proper historic championships together so we just bundled it all in one and made it a yeah you know, a prerequisite to complete some other stuff to unlock it um and it it smacks of lazy i've got to be honest it really does smack of lazy um once you're in and actually racing it's good fun but it it's a bit soulless to progress through you know then you've got your teammate side of things um and i'll be honest it may as well not exist you know after the work that um cody's have put in place to put a career mode that is really robust in the f1 series and get a you know semi-decent career mode in the um dirt series this is just kind of like they forgot all about that somehow um you know you have to go to a completely different part of the um menu outside of korea to pick a teammate and that's it you're done then um and aside from that there's not really a great deal of point in having a teammate i'll be perfectly honest with you he just seems to toddle along um doing whatever they want and there you go um and as for giving them orders in in race i've never once felt the need to actually do that after the first time of doing it just to see that it worked um, and that's it I've, I've not bothered with it 
it's a three lap race in most cases um you know six if it's a really short circuit and that's the max and it's just not enough time for you know a, a teammate to do a great deal in it um so the careers like the team element is practically non-existent and then we get on to um trying to do anything time trially in this and that's just quite frankly a mess um you have to pick from a load of event titles which i must confess I, if somebody knows what the hell they do please do put it in the comments down below because uh, i've got no idea you, you have to pick some really weird name which doesn't then appear to have any bearing on what the hell you can do after that um you can pick a race or you can pick a time trial which still appears to be well it's time attack um and then that's it if you want to do time trial you have to select a race or time attack but take it down to one opponent uh, or one person in the race which is you and uh, it's again it's just a mess it smacks of being tacked on at the last minute and yeah it's grid it's it's a good game desperately trying to escape the mediocrity of almost no content it's wrapped up in um and this does absolutely nothing for the impression a lot of people myself included have around codies and what appears to be a business model based around selling a light product and then bolstering it with dlc um now with dirt 2.0 that was effectively repackaging everything from the original dirt adding a little bit more in and selling that as add-on content um and most of that arguably should have been in the base game it really should and it's just it left a lot of uh, people with a bad taste in their mouth and i can fully understand why uh this is going to get more tracks free post release um but at the end of the day it's not just tracks the titles lacking it's game modes it's events within korea it's a team structure um it's a huge amount of stuff and if that is going to be locked behind a paywall again um that is understandably going to annoy the hell out of a lot of people and i fully understand why they would be annoyed about it um so yeah good good, good potential absolutely piss poor um implementation of that potential by codemasters in a manner that really does just smack of wanting to make money um and money way beyond what could and arguably should have been in the base game so uh, as a result i mean i've been playing three titles recently uh, over the last few weeks uh, fairly heavily in rotation that's been grid wrc8 and uh, wreckfest and i'll be perfectly honest it, it's been a shootout between wrc8 and wreckfest as to which gets the vast majority of my time um, grid is a distant third in terms of my time invested in it because it is just so damn light we'll see what the um, seasons and the dlc offerings bring um so i'll make sure i post videos up for those as they come out but so far not an auspicious start for the relaunch of the grid series i'm afraid uh, so there we go um if you found this interesting please do drop me a like any comments or thoughts please do drop them down below and um if you want to see more like this please do subscribe away thanks very much bye